Now, these are the type of flies I've been tying recently. Uh, these are low water uh, salmon flies. And uh, the fly I'm going to be tying is the, the March Brown. It's a basic pattern, but it's a, it's a good trout fly as much as a, a good salmon fly. It's an old salmon fly pattern as much. Uh, even though the March Brown is basically uh, the name of a, an early season fly at hatches. Uh, the rest are just the blue charm. Jock Scott, Silver Doctor, uh, Genie, it's a good fly, these are all good patterns. But it's reasonably easy to tie. Now I'm going to start off with a yellow thread and finish with a black, but the yellow just helps to sort of blend in with the materials I'm using. The first thing I'm going to do is wax the thread. Now the hook I'm using, now these are fishing flies, uh, the hook I'm going to be using is this one here. This is a Daiichi, or you can see it's an Alec Jackson spray fly hook. It's a size 3. Now, as I say, watch the thread. We start at about 4 or 5 mil from the eye. Come down to the point where the hook has been, obviously the eye has been formed using uh, bending the wire around and it comes to a point here. At that point there I'm going to wind in, I'm going to tie in a small oval gold tinsel. This is going to be for the tag. This just fills the space, I'll show you what I mean by this, if you can see. The tie it in there, it compensates for that small step. Now we wind down, nice and tight. Now, blend to the fly, it depends on yourself, halfway, around about halfway. And then we come back up, enough, round about, say if we do wind this five times it'll be fine. So there's one, two, three, four, Five. Catch this in. Now I'm going to rub the fly with a flat tinsel. So I'm going to remove this. So but to keep it the good body thickness, so there's no lumps or spaces or sorry steps. I'm trim that there. I'm just going to quickly take the thread up. So I'm tapping my finger, keeping the the remains of the oval tinsel as you can see on the top. There's a slight wee bump just there. I'm going to show you what I've got here is now you can buy these off eBay. It's at an, an agate. It's basically used for gold leaf, as far as I believe. You can rub this down onto the, the tag. Just keep your thumb on it as you wind, as you sort of rub onto it. This will smooth it up. Use this on floss, as sometimes as well. This will flatten the tinsel, make it a wee bit smoother. Continue back down to the tag. We tie in some golden pheasant crest for the tail. Now I've got this is golden pheasant crest here. I've dyed this yellow actually just to brighten it. Now crests are not as good as they used to be, so they get a bit pale. They're not getting as much colour in them, and they're not as much fibre. So there's two tails. There's two feathers there to form the tail. Tie that on the top, the curve side up. Want it to be between, could be in line with the barb or just midway. Trim away the waist. See a nice enough wee tail, just impression of the tail. And again, we could basically, for strength, I'll, it's just as quick to run this up. Tidying things, come back down. Now I'm using a, a medium tinsel, gold tinsel. Lagerton would be the one to, to get nowadays. Now, this is not too heavy that you need a, to cut it into a point. It's it's fine. Now, what I want to do here is, so the first couple of mil, I just want the yellow thread. So, we just basically come up. And there we are, just the yellow thread at that point. I'm using a, this is just body fur from my hair, just for the body. I'm not using the hairs here, it just, you never, you wouldn't get many flies out of it. Uh, so what we're doing is just using the body fur, blended, I use the coffee grinder just to blend it. Very easy to dub, it's a bit light, but you can, you get it on. And then as we, just slightly, start to wind up, we can tighten up, 
wind up before I taper my body. You see, as you tighten, as you wind, you can tighten it. Now I want to reduce it slightly towards the eye. Don't want it too heavy. It lifts the wing too much if you do that. I wax on my thread. Then I change my thread to black. Just a black uni thread. That's a black uni thread as well. I oh, saw a yellow and eight oh. So clear your fingers and make sure there's no fluff going forward to the eye. Just tie over the top of the yellow thread. Trim away the waste, black and the yellow thread itself. Bring my rib up. Around about, looking around about five turns or so. See what we like here. <coughs> you can always go back at this if I'm not happy with it. Take a quick look. That's fine. So what we do is just bring out some of the fluff, the dubbing. Just roll your fingers through it. Now we're going to tie in a partridge apple, it's the natural brown partridge apple. So looking for a well marked tackle. There we go. A couple here, you can, depends on the length and the colour really. It's a nice, so it's got a nice colour. So that's the type of colour you're looking for. There away the fluff. Stem most times will break on you, but there's enough there for me to use the hackle pliers. So just locate the tip with the hackle pliers. Tie it on the side, the good side of the feather facing yourself. Fold back the tip two or three turns. There's a tip there. So what I've done is we come down two or three turns, folded the tip back with two or three turns back up. And then trim that away so it locks it in. And then we just basically you can lift, hackle up, draw the hackle fibres back, fold them back, and do a turn in front of the other. You're not going to get many turns, so then catch in the hackle nice and tight, tie it down. Trim that away. And then just basically roll the fibres out. Now we need a right and a left bronze mallard feather. We've got a right and a left side here. So what we need to do is what I like to do. Wing. We get two lengths. This is about maybe five, six mil wide. And do the same again. I just offer it underneath the feather. Pull it out. So I've got two lengths. Tear it off. So we've got two there. That's your side. My side here, do the same again. So just pull out the fibre, there we are, tear it off, lay it in the top, or lay it underside, sorry. Uh, pull it out again, just pull these away, tear it away. So that's doubled up on the wing. So we've got both sides. So just line up the ends. You're seeing the underside of the feather. You see the tips have lined up, so you're right on your left side. Just bringing them in, pulling these at the back just to bring them together to straighten it up. You see the just what I'm going to do is fold it so I get the wing, wing length. Is, it could be short, it could be long, towards the tip of the, the tail if you want. I'm just going to put it slightly less, so just about there. So I fold. Pinch and loop, nice and tight. Two or three more turns. That looks okay. Throw away the waste. Like a 
rogue fiber here, so I'm just going to take it away. Don't know what that is, but anyway. Wax my thread again, tidy the head area up. See, don't be too fussy with the wing, that's it done. Two jungle cock eyes, and this is optional where you do this. Two eyes. Well, you could put the crest on first, sorry. Just link the crest on. Now the crest, you don't have to put this on, it's just to show you. But I like it, it adds a lovely bit of colour to it. So there's your length there, with the tip. You can have it towards the end of the wing, but I like it obviously in line with the tip of the tail. The easiest way to do it is just to moisten it. So there's our length, you can see the length there. Set it on the top, pinch and loop. Now I have waxed the thread. So we've got three or four turns, check the length. If you're not happy, and I'm not, so I'm going to go back, just go back. Thread's a wee bit, just a wee bit of wax. Go back in. Hold the fibre. You could remove these small fibres at the bottom, but I don't. I just leave them. It actually helps to control the, the crest on top. So, three or four turns to hold. Just check to see how it's sitting. can be a wee bit stubborn, but don't spend too much time with it, because once it's in the water, it's fine. So, the odd fibre going astray, we can then trim them away. Trim that waist out. For strength, a wee bit of varnish, or in this case, a wee touch of super glue just at the ends, the cut ends, and then we can tie over that. This will secure in your crest, make it really strong. Two jungle cock eyes, you can put them on both at the same time, so there we are, I've got two small eyes. Just going to draw back these fibres. Don't need all these. Do this before you you tie these in, but anyway, we're ready. Make sure they're the same length. Come up, put my right and the left on. You can put them on individually. Sometimes easier to do that. But for speed and bulk, really, I like to tie them in together. As you can see I just positioned that eye there, I just was slightly down so I brought it back up, which you can do. Trim away the waist. It's important that you wax your thread so you get plenty of grip. Nice and tight come down on, form a nice head. Waxing the thread will give you this grip here that I'm getting when I'm winding forming the head. Just going to lift the crest a wee bit here, it's just a wee bit flat. Here's my quick finishing tool. A bit of fluff on my thread there. That's fine. Turn your thread. Let's just be quick look to see how it's in. Touching the crest here just to open it back out, so it looks not too bad. It's quite a, that'll do. That's a nice enough fly. You get the odd wee fibre sort of mixed. This side, your side looks cleaner than mine. Uh, it's just the odd wee fibre up the top here, but that's fine. Now then, a couple of coats of varnish. Or what I like to do is a uh, wee touch of super glue. Dries really, really quick and hard, and then. A couple of coats of clear varnish, and that's it finished. And that's the March Brown Salmon Fly tied in the low water style. So I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.